Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another little brainstorm that I had. Don't know whether it will work, but you have to try these things and I bring you along on the journey with me. My successes and failures, so I hope you appreciate that I do give it a go. I do try to create different thing, different techniques, or I mean, it's all been done before, absolutely. But if you're new to acrylic pouring, then you might not have seen it done before. <laughs> so I'm trying to, um, yeah, have some fun along the way, enjoy and just make uh, art pouring or art creation of any kind, you know, just uh, therapy and relaxation and joy. So here we go. I've got this um, MDF cut out of love. My plan would be to do my pour on here and try and get something with beautiful cells and then when it's fully dry, use this as a, um, a stencil to go around. So I've got then, leaves my colorful cells in here and then I block in the rest of it or I could add something else if the cells are beautiful. So that is what I have in mind. So keeping, keeping that in mind, um, I might take that out of the way so I don't get it covered in paint. <coughs> um, so I've got a 40 by 50 canvas and I'm going to, I had much success with Puddle Pour the other day um, and Gorgeous Cell. So I'm going to try that again, but I'm going to try it in completely different bright colours where I did it in sort of nice caramel toffee colours. So I have all these nice bright colours left. So I'm just going to literally puddle my way around the canvas. So I may speed up this bit for you so it doesn't get boring. You certainly wouldn't want me to sing, so I'm not going to do that for you, poor guys. So yeah, I have a cool red and a warm red to go in here. And I'm thinking, oh, oh, geez Louise, can you believe that? Threw that into my bucket and it went on my dog's mat. <laughs> anyway, so this is the cool red and I added a good squirt of the pearl mist, which makes it nice, sheeny, shiny glistening, iridescent gorgeousness in it. So this is quite therapeutic as it is, just just merrily going along doing your puddle pours. If you haven't tried it, I certainly recommend it. Try and use up all my paint so nothing goes to waste. Rightio, I have some orange, which is the not just normal orange, and I always add a good squirt of yellow in my orange to <laughs> brighten it up even further, as if it isn't bright enough. But add a little bit more so. I mean, I looked at some art online and there's actually pieces of art for sale that is just all circles like this. Like, so it's, you know, can't have people criticize you that that's not art because the most abstract things sell for a lot of money. So never be disillusioned because um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So this is the nice, beautiful yellow. I think it's um, called what or yellow, and these are all global paints. So nice, bright colors. That's what I like. But the other one I did with the puddles, the nice caramels, that turned out U Beaut Super too. So I was very happy with that. I do not want to waste any. So it's kind of like what I usually do when I do 
I'll do the wiggles in all the colours over and then I'll tilt it. I'm actually not doing wiggles, I'm doing puddles. So not sure really whether I want to add this green and I'm probably going to spoil it, but I might just add it to the very edge of my canvas so it gives me something to um, run off my paint. This is a green light, it's called. So I have no idea where I was. I am going to use it in, so I'm just going to use it as my pour off paint. The sound you can hear is frogs because we've just had a really big downpour and when we have a downpour, frogs galore, frogs galore. So I'm going to add in here, I've just got a little bit left of it was originally turquoise, but then I added white and pearl mist to it. So it took it down a really pale sort of baby blue or sky. I think somebody told me that in the US this is called Tiffany blue because it's Tiffany's color. That's what I was told. So there you go. I learn something every day, which is wonderful. And save these containers. They can be just washed out in a bucket and uh, reused again as you're pouring, um, pouring cups, of course. Uh, I will wash that and I will reuse it. Where do I need a bit more blue? Maybe over here. bucket um, I'm going to add a little bit I'm a bit worried about this this is my purple with my um, pearl mist in it not sure but you know if you don't try things you're never gonna know are you so yeah I have to give it a go I might, or may I, or no, or... Oh. <clears throat> right here. <laughs> oh, I've got such delicious colours here. This is the dark sea um, mixed with a bit of the um, pearl mist to give it that little bit of a... Oh, Jay's Louise. It's my son calling, so I've got to quickly send him a message. Can I call you later? I should have... Um, pre um, message on my phone saying currently filming <coughs> dear oh those colors really do something for me I just really love them together it's just the brightness just is cheerful and oh, definitely therapeutic here you go, so this is just my white that I pre-mix in this big container so, because it's used a lot. So let me go around, give me somewhere to spread. And again, I'll put some white in here. Hopefully it's going to turn out really nice and bright to give me a nice bright background for that stencil and I may find something else that I've got to put in it as well, another stencil. So if the colour turns out wonderful underneath then um, all should be good. So now's the exciting part. <laughs> well it's just gently, just tilt your paint all over your canvas, just nice and slow, don't hurry it. Just going to make sure your whole of your canvas is covered in these beautiful um, jelly topped colours. I'm 
rubbing them off. Just keep recentering it, making sure you've got equal amounts of paint all over your canvas. Uh, so don't stress over this. Remember, it's only paint. Um, and the paint is mixed up with a lot of cheap pouring medium in that. My pouring medium, making it out of clear goo, goo glue, goo glue, is um, very inexpensive to make quite a lot of pouring medium. If you're looking for my recipes to how to make the pouring medium to go into acrylic paint, it's in the drop down box underneath this video. Just click on the title of the video and a drop down box will appear if you don't know how to do that because I didn't for a long time till somebody told me to do that and I thought oh that's a nice easy way to tell viewers I'll just bring this back a little bit <clears throat> recenter the whole lot just nice and easy sorry if it's out of the camera's view I'm just recentering all the paint so I've got it all recentered I think that's I think that's fair enough I think that's pretty good rightio I love it I love it already rightio I'm going to use the same bit of black that I used in my caramel colors this was the global black mixed with my normal pouring medium. I'm going to just try this first, so let's give it a go. I'll just try a little swipe in it and let's hope that it's a goodie. <coughs> If it's um, nice, then I'll go right across with this. Already, look at those beautiful little champagne cells, little popping up the socks, popping their socks. Oh, that's beautiful. I'll bring the camera down after I've done the first row. So let's do this thing. Ooh, come on, you beauty. There we go. Just wipe off, this is a soft plastic file divider, just wipe it off in between swipes. It's an either a helicopter or it's my husband coming back on the quad bike from the paddocks. Oh, it's a helicopter. There you go. Oh my goodness. Some of them are so shimmery shiny because of that pearl mist in the paint. I will bring you down to have a look at this awesomeness in one second or two so just nice and slowly only um, put the very tip of your file divider into the paint that is you beaut super duper you turn it right the way around so it's easy for me to swipe yeah look at that Definitely want a little squiz at these gorgeous cells that have come up and I will bring you down in a moment. Okie doke, let's go. I might do another line, just a thin line. It doesn't need to be much at all. That will disappear, that dark line. Okie doke, let's try this right here. Just try and dip the very tip in that the just white colour and just nice and slow. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. any heat on it. Shall I actually try today with my butane torch? As you know, I 
I don't like advising using butane and I usually now always use my heat gun um, because butane's dangerous and people that are doing acrylic art and they're in units, your um, insurance wouldn't cover you using a butane torch. So um, always advise the heat gun. It usually does exactly the same. Um, I'm just going to try my heat, uh, my butane, because I haven't done this for a, ooh, for a while. So I'm just going to give it a hit with the butane. Just don't keep it in the same spot because you'll burn your canvas. I'm just going. Oh, a fly just come near that. Oh gosh, he's a barbecued fly now. Oh, holy dooly. That's gorgeous. Zip over with my heat gun. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to bring you down and have a look at this. You must see. Oh, you must see. Just look at these gorgeous, gorgeous creations in all those gorgeous colours. And just the area of sparkle. We'll see the sparkle in the paint. Oh. oh, some of them so pretty. How about that? It's pretty, pretty stunning. Oh, these ones here, look, they're just sparkling in there like gems. Wowzers, trousers. Okie doke. That looks pretty good swipe to me. And so I have to let that dry now to put my love stencil on it. I might add a few balloon kisses, but I will see. I am going to allow this to fully dry off before I um, do my stencil. But the next part of some balloon kissing, I'm going to do in a separate video because this was quite a long video. So I'll have the balloon kissing next plus the stencil. So it'll uh, be a bit more exciting for you. But look how lovely it actually looks just as a swipe pour. It was just gorgeous, bright, colourful, uplifting for me and I enjoyed every minute of it. So I hope you did too. And until tomorrow, my dear folk, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.